What's good with y'all, man? It's your boy. We're back with another video. And today, 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 we get into another interesting video. Now, today, we get into another video topic. Browns versus Texans. Getting y'all my thoughts and analysis on this game. I'm actually about to be at this game out in Houston. Um, so, I will be in attendance for it. Um, I'm going to give y'all some of my predictions and my opinions. First thing first, bro. We're playing Case King. I want to say that first thing first. The defense has been on kind of shaky of late on the road. Um, I've been beating the table on the defense, playing bad on the road. Um, this is their week to show up and kind of put a nail in the coffin of that. Um, you got a guy in Case Keenum. You played against him in practice. You know what he's capable of doing. You know what he's capable of going out there and doing. And um, you got a guy in Devin Singletary who's going to start just trying to get this offense going and trying to get them started. You got, you know, their tackles playing pretty good. Um, their old line is pretty decent, actually, so. It's going to be up to the defensive line to really put this, their their hands and their palms on this game to go out and get this Cleveland Browns team a win. Um, and we're going to see what happens and what transpires. Now, first thing first. This game is going to be a game where the Cleveland Browns are going to try to start establishing and running the football. Our running game has been terrible of late. Uh, and it's going to be a game where they try to run in between the tackles. Uh, and it also should be another big game for David Njoku. They're going to try to get Njoku in coverage with some of their linebackers that's not that good at coverage, but good at running defense. Um, I know their interior defense and line is also pretty bad um, at stopping the interior run. Um, so this should be a good game for Kareem Hunt. Um, you know, he likes to run up the middle. So um, Kareem for 25 yards might be a good bet. Um, I might put that in. Um, but I, I think this is a game that's going to be dominated by the main guys and David Njoku. You might see Elijah Moore get in there um, and get a couple snaps and get not a couple snaps, but a couple catches. It might have a good little 45 yard day. You know, Elijah Moore is pretty much what he's good for. Um, now, as far as this cornerback room, um, you got Devin Singletary, not Devin Singletary. You got Derek Stingley playing like a stud right now. I wouldn't be too thirsty to throw at him. Um, a lot of people don't realize how good he's playing. He's been playing pretty much like Martin Emerson, um, essentially. Uh, but he's playing at like a top 15 corner level. Um, you're going to have him with a Milanda, with Amari Cooper. They're going to try to throw Cooper at him. Um, well, they're going to try to throw Derek at Amari um, to kind of slow Amari down. So David Njoku and Elijah Moore might be more featured in this game. I still expect Amari Cooper to have a decent game, though. Um, as we know, Amari Cooper is either under 40 yards or at 100. It's no in between. <laughs> it's no in between with Coop, man. Um, but this game going to come down to the defense and the coaching. Um, I Joe Flacco. Let's get to Joe. I expect Joe to be under two turnovers. Um, under two turnovers. Two turnovers uh, is the most I'm going to take from him. Um, three is completely unacceptable. He's had seven turnovers in the last two games. I've been beating the table on it despite everybody praising him. I um, mean, man, he's turning over the football at a at PJ Walker race. Um, so he he got to get better at that. There's no excuse for that because it's gonna be games where your defense can't save you. And against the Kansas City Chiefs, against the Baltimore Ravens, against the Miami Dolphins, against teams of that nature, you're not gonna be able to throw three turnovers and get away with it. At least not on the road. So um, I'm expecting Joe Flacco to be under two turnovers. You got the Cleveland Browns playing the Houston Texans with Case Keenum. I expect the Browns to win by ten points. This shouldn't be a close game. Shouldn't be a game where you have the breather. Um, the Texans and the Browns do kind of, if you look back to last year, it was kind of a somewhat close game. Um, so I expect the Texans to be in this game. Um, so I don't think it'll be a blowout, but I think the Browns should pull away or late. I don't think that this is going to be like a high-scoring game at all by any means. Their defense is playing somewhat decent. Um, I could see this as being like a 23-10 type of game. Um, or like a more of a 20 to 7 or 20 to 6. Something of that nature. I don't think the Browns score over more than 25 points in this game. Um, but I also don't think the Texans put over more than 17. 17 is probably their cap and their max, if you ask me. Um, it's going to come down to Kevin Stefanski also putting out a good game plan to get the Browns started. They're going to try to get that run game going. Um, like I said, their run game has been struggling. I, mean, I don't even think we clipped like 60 yards of rushing last game. Um, these last two weeks has been abysmal. Um, Jerome Ford hasn't broke one in a while. Um, he's dealing with a lot of injuries, though, so I, I don't know how much we can really 
blame some of it on injuries and we're blaming on him just not being as good as we thought he was. He's been kind of disappointed. Uh, so is Elijah Moore, so is Cedric Tillman. Uh, but this is going to be a game that I expect those guys that's been disappointed to kind of get out of that, that, out of that, that rough patch they kind of been in. Uh, for example, like I said, like a, like a Cedric Tillman, like a, <clears throat> excuse me, like a Elijah Moore, like a Jerome Ford. I expect them guys to be playing. Um, hopefully, by the end of this game, Pierre Strong is running the football. We not sweating. And it's a good Cleveland Browns win. And Browns ended up being 10 and 5. Um, this is a short, quick, little in and out video. Like I said, I'm literally packing my bag about to go up and go to this game. Um, I'm going to try to get you guys some videos um, while I'm out of time. I'm going to try to put some videos out. But um, up right now, I probably got two to four video well three to four videos gonna get dropped this week so you guys comment down below how y'all feel about this game and i want y'all post and pre-game well not post i want y'all pre-game prediction for the score start commenting down y'all score predictions man it's your boy will quick little in and out video like the button i'm out peace